Hi everybody, I'm Miss Sage from the Sewickley Public Library and Miss Jan and I are taking turns every Friday bringing you family story time. I'd like to thank Houghton Mifflin, Boyd's Mills Press, and Harcourt Inc. for their permission to read their books. Don't forget to tune in next week for more virtual story times. Babies and Books on Tuesday, Stories for Twos and Threes on Wednesday, Preschool Story Time on Thursday, and then Miss Jan is here next Friday for Family Story Time. They're all at 9.30. Subscribe to the Sewickley Public Library YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Check out summer reading on our website too. Let's go ahead and start our story time with a song. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Friends, today we are talking all about the beach. Some of you might have been to the beach before. Maybe you're gonna go on a vacation this summer, or maybe you can look at videos of the beach and read lots of stories and play in the sand and the sandbox and pretend like you're at the beach. Our first story today is called Bats of the Beach, written and illustrated by Brian Lies. Sun slips down and all is still, and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, banjos, blankets, books, and towels. Strapped on backs and under wings, have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees. Flying fast to wet our feet, where land and foamy ocean meet. At last we hear the deep bass thump, as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below, we pull wings in and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going when fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before night's through. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others must have left behind. A bucket and a shovel. Burying friends from chin to knee, we're scratching where no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep as old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wing boat races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's munch time, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats. Beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs, crickets, moths, and pickled slugs, damselflies, or salted skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Yummy bud. Bug mallows toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. Looks like a different kind of s'mores they're making. And later on, those stomachs hurt, we'll try the snack bar for dessert. Quick, don't miss it, the old bats are singing. The bat songs that they learned when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games, as embers pop within the flames. Little ones climb onto leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purple, sun is coming, a last few notes of banjo drumming. 
bring our beach night to an end. So say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out, give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've gotta be home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and teary. Daybirds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep, the moon's out of reach. The night was just Perfect for bats at the beach. Five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish went the waves, then there were four. Four little seashells, pretty as can be. Swish went the waves, then there were three. Three little seashells, all pearly new. Swish went the waves, then there were two. Two little seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the waves, then there was one. One little seashell lying all alone. I said shh as I took it home. Our next story is called A Beach Tale by Karen Lynn Williams. Illustrated by Floyd Cooper. Gregory drew a lion in the sand. A sea lion, Dad asked. A sandy lion, Gregory said. Sandy needs a tail, said Dad. Gregory picked up his sturdy drawing stick. Don't go in the water and don't leave Sandy, Dad said. I won't, said Gregory. Dad sat down on the dolphin towel under the blue umbrella. Swish, swoosh. Gregory drew a tail. He did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory came to a purple jellyfish. He made a loop around the gooey blob. So did Sandy's tail. Swish, swoosh. Gregory came to the mound of an old castle washed smooth by the waves. He went up and over and down, so did Sandy's tail. But Gregory did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory came to a horseshoe crab. He made a big zig and then a zag around the old crab's pointer. Sandy's tail went zigzag too, swish swoosh. Gregory came to a giant hole Gregory went down and up, so did Sandy's tail. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory saw a tiny ghost crab scurry sideways into his dark round hole. Gregory went round and round the hole. Sandy's tail went round and round too. But Gregory did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Swish, swoosh. Gregory wrote his nickname. G-R-E-G. -E Sandy's tail got longer. Suddenly a wave snuck up onto the sand. It tickled Gregory's toes. Gregory jumped back and traced the lacy wave line. Sandy's tail made a wavy line too. But Gregory did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Swish, swoosh. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory came to a jetty. He heard a loud roar. Gregory looked up, a giant wave crashed on the rocks. The spray splashed Gregory. He turned around to look for dad. Uh-oh, what now? Which umbrella is his daddy at? Swish, swoosh. Gregory followed Sandy's tail. He followed the wavy line, swish, swoosh. He traced his nickname backward, G-E-R-G. -E he went around and around the deep, dark ghost crab hole. Swish, swoosh, 
He went down into the giant hole and up again. Zag and then zig. He went around the horseshoe crab's pointer. Uh-oh. Gregory looked down the beach. No Sandy. No dad on the dolphin towel under the blue umbrella. But... Gregory saw the mound of the old castle washed smooth by the waves. Swish, swoosh. He went up and over and down. There was Sandy's tail in a loop around the gooey purple jellyfish. Swish, swoosh. Gregory followed the loop and then he came to Sandy. Uh-oh. Gregory looked up. There was the blue umbrella. There was the dolphin towel. Dad waved. Sandy has a long tail, he said. I didn't go in the water, Gregory said. But Sandy got wet, he added. Dad held Gregory's hand. Let's get wet too. Friends, if you have a shaker at home, go ahead and grab it and let's do some shaking. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, and wiggle our waggles away. Can you tap your shaker underneath? We're gonna tap, tap, tap our chappies out, tap, tap, tap our chappies out, tap, tap, tap our chappies out, and wiggle our waggles away. Shake her, shake her up high. Shake it down low. Can you shake it really, really fast? Hello. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and put your shakers down. And I have one more story for you. It's called To the Beach by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. This big family all ready to go to the beach. The car is packed. We're on our way. We're going to the beach today. A block away, Kate starts to moan. We can't leave Fido home alone. Turn around, find Fido fast. He's curled up sleeping in the grass. The sun is bright, we squint our eyes. The beach umbrella, mama cries. It's with the tote bag in the den. Grab them both and start again. Down the street, a sudden wail. Baby's yelling, ducky pail. Hit the brakes, reverse the car, retrieve the pail. But don't get far. Benny shouts, I need a drink. Oops, the cooler's by the sink. Weave through cars, avoid a crash. To the kitchen in a flash. Make it through the traffic light. Papa says, go pack the kite. Quick, a U-turn, what a ride. There it is, beside the slide. Cross the bridge, now Anne's upset. Where's the beach ball, where's the net? Mother swerves, the tires screech. Home again, then to the beach. I wish you'd learn to pack, I gloat. But wait a minute, where's my boat? Drive back home, it takes a year. Fetch the boat and fishing gear. That was it, we're packed at last. We're on the highway, moving fast. Now we're really on our way. We're going to the beach today. Oh no, a flash, a thunder crack, a sudden storm. We're turning back. Take the exit, traffic slow, cross the bridge, stop and go. Back through town, we're near the end. Just one more street, then home again. Now it's pouring dark as night. Pop out fast, unload the kite. The beach umbrella, cooler, tote, the ducky pail, the dog, the boat. The fishing gear, the ball and net, quick before we're soaking wet. The car's unpacked, we're finally done, just in time. What do you see? To see the sun. Looks like instead of the beach, they made the best of it and they're just gonna have fun at home. The end. 
friends, we're gonna sing Slippery Fish. So go ahead, put your hands together, give a little wiggle. A slippery fish, a slippery fish, swimming in the water. A slippery fish, a slippery fish. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a tuna fish, a tuna fish, swimming in the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus, an octopus, wiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a great white shark, a great white shark, chomping in the water. A great white shark, a great white shark. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. Go, go, go. Burp. Excuse me. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. It was great doing story time with you. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song, The More We Get Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.